Well, I didn't think this would happen. Megalodon and Camarasaurus tied. Um, yeah, buddy, I'm sorry. Well, let's just put another poll out, you know? What could go wrong? Well, here's the next poll. Oh. No. 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 No, no, no. Camarasaurus? What's up guys, MG Mint here, and yep, looks like we're making this video, you guys wanted to. So here it is, Camarasaurus. It's making this little voice note here because I have realized I have mispronounced this dinosaur my entire life. Besides a Camara, like the old car that your dad and uncle used to drive in the 80s, it's Camarasaurus. So just an FYI guys. Now that we got the pronunciation issue out of the way, Camarasaurus literally means chambered lizard. And this is referring to the vertebrae, which are actually quite chambered in design. Speaking of vertebrae, this dinosaur had 12 vertebrae in its neck and about 53 in its tail. Fun fact about this dinosaur's vertebrae is it actually had a lot of air sacs in the inside where the vertebrae was hollowed out. Uh, this is actually not terribly rare. This is common in most um, sauropods because how else could they breathe, for to say? The air sacs are part of like a bird-like respiratory system that also includes, you know, the lungs. And the main purposes of this were, since the body was so large, it could help maybe, it could help the breathing be more efficient because it makes it a lot lighter to breathe on the bones. And yeah, it was, just, it was something that is very cool about Camarasaur because it's so evident with how the body shape is. Speaking of body shape, this is a big boy. It's not the biggest, but it's a pretty big one. 60 feet in length and a height up to about 20 feet. That is impressive in today's standards of animals, but in the Jurassic period, it's not too crazy. It's honestly just a medium-sized sauropod. Very large, but not too crazy. Large enough to stay safe from most predators, but not large enough to compete with those of like Brachiosaur and later on Patagoniosaur. Speaking of body shape, um, this is a very weird looking dinosaur. I think we all can realize, based on the renderings I had in the video earlier, it's a weird looking one. Uh, the boxy skull and just the weird robust look, it's very distinctive to Camarasaurus. The other sauropods, such as Diplodocus, have very, very large, you know, spoon-shaped teeth, very kind of almost aerodynamic looking skulls. And you look at Camarasaurus, it's big, it's boxy, it's bulky, it's weird. And... It's very cool that we have such a unique looking dinosaur, but it's it's weird to look at it, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Even though we make fun of this dinosaur in the way of appearance, we should also be thankful we can make fun of it, because that lets us know that we know a lot about this dinosaur. We found lots of remains. This is actually a pretty commonly discovered dinosaur, unlike most other species. But the history of this dinosaur is quite cool. The initial discovery dates back to 1877, so already an early find. It was found in Colorado um, after some man named Oramel William discovered some vertebrae in Garnet Park. He originally sent this discovery to Edward Drinker Cope, which is a name I bet a lot of you are familiar with, who was actually in Pennsylvania. Now, the original piece discovered was a partial cervical vertebrae. I'm going to pull up the uh, earliest known skeletal reconstruction uh, that I could find this dinosaur doing the research. So this is it right here. As you can see... They were far off, but not terribly far off. For what they found, they had a lot of remains they originally discovered, but some were from um, other species of dinosaur. So they didn't exactly know the difference at the time, but looking at back, we do know there were some um, issues with this. But it was a pretty accurate reconstruction, especially at the time of 1877, which is very, very cool. There has been a lot of similar dinosaurs found, and the family tree is quite large with this. I'm not going to go too much into detail because you don't really know much about that. I'm just doing an overview of this dinosaur. 
But like I said, continuing on the fossil record of this dinosaur, I have to note that amazingly, there's been over 500 specimens of Kamarasaurus, which is crazy. This is a crazy number for a dinosaur. And um, the area they've been found uh, mainly is the Western United States, uh, Montana area to New Mexico, um, mostly found in the very famous Morrison Formation. So it's a very well-known sauropod in that case, and it's very commonly found. Going into the family of Camarasaurus, it is the uh, family of Camarasauridae, which is just medium-sized uh, sauropods or macronians. Macronians. I, if I'm if I'm mispronouncing that, just go in the comments. Uh, yeah, but it's it's medium-sized sauropods, late tri uh, Jurassic. Um, it's very like common. It's very close to Diplodocus or Diplocidae, which makes a lot of sense. We can see the similarities in these two dinosaurs, but they are not related. Now that we talked about some of the characteristics of this dinosaur and some of the history of the remains, let's talk about its role in the environment. Camarasaurus um, have actually been discovered to have been attacked by Allosaurus, it's believed. Which is pretty funny because I put Allosaurus in the poll thinking that one would win, and it didn't. But yes, it was probably preyed upon by Allosaurus, which is very cool, but very common for most Jurassic dinosaurs, considering Allosaurus was a beast. As I mentioned earlier, this dinosaur is commonly found in the Morrison Formation, which is on the eastern flank of the Rocky Mountains, and is home to a lot of Jurassic dinosaurs. Uh, some of the species the Camarasaurus could have lived with are Diplodocus, Apatosaur, and even Brachiosaurus. Camarasaurus, like other sauropods, are mainly herb herbivores. Um, it is widely believed that they swallowed gastroliths, which are actually stones that some herbivores and some animals even today would swallow to help with digestion. Uh, so it's belief in the environment that it was just mainly a grazer, probably had the advantage in higher up trees, like most sauropods, probably was attacked by most predators, but it probably was preyed upon, as evidence showed by some Allosauruses, or maybe some weaker Camarasauruses were preyed upon the other Jurassic dinosaurs at the time. Um, with the bone, and looking to the bones, it's believed that the sexual maturity of these dinosaurs was around 20, 21 years old, and they probably died around 26 to 30 years of age, which would make them on the lower end of lifespan for some dinosaurs, but very cool. Uh, another weight estimate of Camarasaurus was about 14,000 kilograms, which is pretty darn heavy. And as I wind down the video here, just this little short, quick little video about Camarasaurus, I need to uh, put the fact in that it's only about 155 to 145 million years ago these dinosaurs walked the Earth. The Earth as we know it changes, and it changes a lot. The Jurassic period is probably one of the most unique periods. I know I said the same with the Triassic, but the Jurassic was a time of great change. And these dinosaurs roamed and walked the Earth. Stuff like this is very exciting to see and read about, and the fact that these things are so common is very cool. There is a better than zero chance that you could be walking out somewhere in the Midwest and stumble upon one of these remains. If you ever do, I hope to get care to respect these things, because once these were the kings of the world, even though they were the smaller end of the kings. But the sauropods are some of the coolest dinosaurs I think to have ever walked the face of the earth. And I don't think I'm alone with that belief. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's a quicker video, I know. I just kind of went over some... I didn't go too far in detail like in Herrerasaurus, but this is more so a fun video to make because Camarasaurus is just a very interesting creature. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and the last video and the videos before. And um, if you haven't, or if you're new to the channel, please check out the Herrerasaurus video I just uploaded before. I'm going to make more of these. I'm actually working on the Megalodon video right now as we speak because the polls tied twice and they finally broke early last week for Megal uh, the next, for Camarasaurus one and Megalodon's going to be next. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I read all the comments and subscribing just helps me a lot. Keeps me encouraged to make these videos. And if there's anything that you heard me say incorrect or I could work on, grill me in the comments. It's okay. I can take criticism. And I know you dinosaur nerds are very, very picky about some facts. So if I got something wrong, just let me know. And all my sources are put in the description below. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Good night.